What was your own it my life is over my parents are gonna kill me moment you had as a child teen. I was 17. Drove my girlfriend home from school. We ended up in the shower together. Just as we turned off the water and she was stepping out. We hear her dad open the front door of the house. Of course my truck is in the driveway so he knows I'm there. But I'm nowhere else in the house obviously. My short life flashed before my eyes. He came stomping down the hallway and banged on the bathroom door. My girlfriend, wrapped in a towel, answered the door and lied her ass off. Spanksks is down the street at one of our friend's house. I told him I'd call when I was out of the shower. Meanwhile, I'm standing frozen and shriveled in the shower behind the curtain preparing to meet the hereafter. Married that girl. Been together 26 years. My parents paid for my mobile phone subscription. Got a girlfriend and called a lot more. Too much more. Raked up a 600 euro bill. My soul left my body that day. This happened to my brother when we were on holiday. Except he was looking up porn on 3G. My parents shamed shit out of him in front of everyone when they got a 400 pound bill. Was driving home early in the morning after a night of playing games at a friend's. I was going too fast on an icy road. Lost control of my car and ended up 40 yards into an icy. Flooded field. Car filled with water. I was 16 and had gotten my license just a couple months earlier. Parents were actually pretty cool about it. The car recovered, but always had a smell after that. For a month I kept taking the internet cord from my parents room and running it to the living room. Plugging it in the TV box. I was washing the dishes when my dad started reading out the porn titles on the bill. When I was 12, we were visiting my mom's family for Christmas and staying at my aunt's house like we usually did. Behind her house was a creek that ran through most of the neighborhood. This particular year, it had been really cold and there was snow at least 6 inches deep in most places. I was playing out in the snow and looked back at the creek and saw some really weird icicles that I wanted to get a closer look at. I crossed a fallen log to get to the opposite side of the creek, facing the back of my aunt's house, and walked along the bank looking at the ice. Basically the creek was flowing and not frozen. But there was a shelf that had frozen above it and the ice hanging from it had formed into teardrop shapes instead of the typical spikes I was used to seeing. As I walked, I neglected to see a patch of ice on the bank in front of me and stepped on it with my full weight. I slipped and slid fully into the creek, which was way deeper than I had anticipated. I was wearing a winter coat, jeans, and insulated boots, all of which became incredibly heavy when they got wet. I was up to my armpits. Trying desperately to stay afloat in freezing cold water and heavy clothes. My only thought was, my mom is going to be so pissed. Obviously I survived that incident. I pulled myself out, stumbled up the bank to a building that I thought was a YMCA and turned out to actually be a fire station. They called my mom. She came to get me. No harm. No foul and I was not in any trouble. Although my entire family still mocks me and asks if I'd like to go for a swim every Christmas. When I came home to tell them that my girlfriend was pregnant for Thanksgiving of my freshman year of college. Turkey wasn't the only thing stuffed that year. Every single day my mom told me to be careful near the frozen pond next to our house. One day enough snow melted in order for my friends and I to play soccer in the field next to the pond. As you can guess at one point the ball ended up dead center in the middle of the pond on the ice. My child brain figured if I could throw a stick on the ice, it was safe to walk on. So after making sure the ice was stable by throwing not one but two sticks, I started my walk to get the ball. It was like a scene from a movie. I reached the center and the second I picked up the ball and attempted to turn around I fell straight through the ice and went under. I had to break the ice the entire way back to shore and had my clothes dried at a friend's house a few blocks away. By the time I got there I thought I was on my deathbed but I could never tell my mom I was dumb enough to go out there or she would have probably killed me. I'm now 26 and have still never told my parents I did that lol. My sister locked me out of the house. She was still inside. So I went around banging on all the doors, and she's ignoring me. I started pounding on her bedroom window, and my hand accidentally goes through the window. Over 10 years later and I still have a tiny scar on my hand. Getting pulled over by 3 police cars for doing 70 in a 45. My dad happened to call as I was talking with the officers. They asked to speak with him. 
After a few minutes they handed the phone back and said you better go home. That is going to be worse than the ticket we are giving you that was a whole lot of yelling at home. When I was about 8 my sister, 10, and I used to play around the neighborhood with other kids, but we had to be home by 8pm or when the street lights came on, whichever came first. We had a watch on and every evening my mum would make sure that we had one with us and it was working. One evening we were 20 minutes late, and it was the second time that week. If we were late twice in a week we weren't allowed to go out the rest of the week. My sister and I were talking by the back garden gate making up excuses why we were late and making sure we were both on the same page in case she questioned us. We opened the gate to go inside and my mum was standing on the other side of the gate, arms folded. That was a life flashed before my eyes moment. I skipped school by leaving the house, climbing on the garage and waiting for my mum to leave. I jumped down to let myself in as she drove off and set myself up for a day on my PS1. She then came back as she'd forgotten something and I wanted to die in a hole. The yelling was something to behold. Didn't do that again. So we live in a two story colonial. My parents are away on vacation. I'm in the yard and tossing a baseball up in the air and catching it, just a 9 year old entertaining myself. I think to myself, hey let's loft it onto the first split level roof and then it'll roll off and I'll catch it. Second toss, crash, shatter sister's window. Grandma was babysitting. Grandma reported, I was smoked. Me and a few buddies got arrested for some very foolish and regrettable criminal mischief. We managed to keep it from our parents by getting to the mailbox first to destroy court notices and targeted letters from lawyers. We thought we were in the clear too. Until the newspaper article with our names in it came out. There was a small lizard trapped in our garage under a pile of wood so I moved some of them so it could get out. I must have accidentally knocked over a larger plank in the process. That landed on my dad's car and went straight through the windshield. Lizard was fine though. One time I snuck out of the house, and when I went to sneak back in the door was locked. We never locked the doors to the house, so I knew I'd be in court. Lived on a farm so I just went up to the hayloft to sleep the rest of the night. I one time woke up late for school because my alarm didn't go off. I am incredibly blind without my contacts and just glanced at the clock and was very late. In a furious panic to try somehow make it to the bus I put my contacts in dunked my hair in water and grabbed my backpack and jacket as I sprinted to the bus stop. It was the time of year where it's dark outside well into the morning, so it was still pitch black. No one was at the bus stop, so I figured I missed. I still waited for quite some time in case it showed up. When I realized I was so late it wasn't coming I walked back to my house, knowing I would have to wake my mom up to take me to school. Fortunately when I walked through the front door, she was already up waiting for me. She greeted me with where the hell have you been? I responded that I was sorry, but late for the bus and needed her to take me to school. She glared at me and told me it was something like 4 in the morning. I had somehow misread my alarm clock in my state of panic and tried to explain that I really did think I was late and was really at the bus stop. She just assumed I had snuck out with friends the night before and was just coming home. Something I had been doing off and on for a while at that time. So. I was grounded for sneaking out, when in reality I just woke up too early to go to school. I thought it was a good idea to play with some candles while having a LOTR marathon. Turns out that was a bad idea because I ended up getting distracted and set the family couch on fire. I frantically put it out and threw a blanket over it. I didn't leave that couch for a week. 17 years old, at a party while the parents were out of town. I had to work the next day, but timed it so I would have plenty of time to clean before they got home that evening. Came home from work, the sprinklers are on and their car is in the driveway. Driving down my driveway I was anxiety and fear personified. I walk in the house and my mom tells me, your dad had to leave before you got here otherwise he was afraid of what he might do to you. I was 10 years old, only pretending to drive a car with my friend in the back seat. I knew not to touch the ignition or the gearbox, so the car is parked on an incline. I lowered the handbrake and the car starts to roll backwards, moving steadily and with increasing momentum towards a concrete wall. Thankfully I knew which one the brake was, so I pressed down on it with all my might and told my friend to get out of the car and call my dad. All the while pressing down on that brake, I thought, yep, 
Today I either die off my dad kills me. I live to tell the tale. Parents were away for the weekend. I took my dad's keys and took it for a small drive. I was never allowed to drive unsupervised, didn't have a license or anything, was a thrill. I came back, parked, left the keys in the same drawer he left them in. Monday arrives, I come back from school and my dad asks me to come look at the car, with a death glare. I had forgot to pull the seat back after adjusting them for my 14 year old legs. <laughs>